My husband has been cheating on me with men for the last 10 years. Here's how I got my revenge. I, 40 female, have been married to my husband, 44 male, for 20 years now. We have two kids, 16 female and 13 male. My husband is what I would consider a high earner by middle class standards. This is going to be long. I've never told anyone, so... 10 years ago, and by complete coincidence, I found out that my husband has been cheating on me, with men, and that from before, we got married. We live in a small-ish town in the south of the USA. Him coming out as gay will have consequences. I believe that that is the only reason he has not come out to anyone. First, here's how I found out he was cheating on me. He got sloppy, left a credit card bill, for a secret card, in the pocket of a coat. While going through it, I found all the telltale signs of infidelity. Payments to a hotel in a nearby county, restaurant bills, gifts, flowers, protection and lubricant, etc. I started camping outside the hotel on days he told me he would be late, and I saw him bringing different men there. I am very good at compartmentalization and have a great poker face. Comes with growing up in an abusive household, so I was able to give myself the time to cool off and to come up with what I should do. First thing I did was getting an STD panel since I didn't know how safe he was with his partners. It came out negative. Then I convinced him that we should use condoms since I was having side effects from the pill. He was okay with it. I had a long think and I came up to the decision that I was not going to confront him, nor was I going to leave him. He was able to provide me a really good lifestyle, one that I would never be able to afford with my high school diploma, a cleaning lady, a nanny to help with the kids, regular spa days and a country club, a new car every other year, luxury family vacations every year. He was a good dad, a good partner, the cheating aside, and really good in bed. But I was not going to let him have a single guilt-free week in his life. That would be my revenge. I started small, planning great date nights for Oos, telling him that I felt our relationship has cooled, that I wanted the spark back. Then I would sometimes slip into conversation some tea about a cheating husband, a gasp gay man that has been using his poor wife as a beard, complimenting the only gay couple we know for having the courage of being real men who were out and proud of themselves. On the other hand, I would praise him as the perfect husband to anyone and everyone, especially if he was in earshot. The amount of guilt gifts I got was astounding. The man was even sending me flowers weekly. It continued the same way for years. I could literally see how much it was weighing on him. Me? While my parents were part of a commune with the concept of free love, I was the same. I just considered myself in an open marriage. It seems that cheating is easier to ignore if you are not that big on monogamy in the first place. And my husband was keeping me satisfied, so I felt no need to find a partner of my own. Then four years ago, I guess he met the love of his life. He started seeing just the one guy. I was seriously thinking of ending the whole thing, especially since I have started a business by then and was able to bring in enough money to support myself and my kids while maintaining my lifestyle. But then he went and introduced his side piece to us. He fudging brought him into our house, introduced him to our kids, and that was enough for me to keep tormenting him. Apparently, he was a new friend he made while golfing. He started hinting at moving to another state, one where it would be easier for him to come out. I refused. I told him that my business was here, and I was not going to start over in another state. Also, the kids had their friends and extended family here. It would be unfair to uproot them. Then he started trying to start arguments. I guess he wanted us to fight, then for me to ask for a divorce. I just stopped all those arguments in their tracks. I would just agree with whatever he said. He was right. I was wrong. And to make it up to him, how about a nice dinner and some great cuddles? He hated that. I knew from spying on his phone that having cuddles with me felt like cheating on his BF, the audacity of this man. I also knew that his BF was pressuring him to leave me almost every day. He was stuck between a rock and a hard place. He started drinking, and when it got too heavy, that was when I decided that enough was enough. I wanted to ruin his life, not his health. Also, I grew up with an alcoholic father and did not want that for my kids. So I gathered all the evidence of his infidelity over the last nine years. Photos with different men, conversations, his grinder profile, even though he no longer had one. Everything. Then I hired a divorce attorney and mailed the evidence to his employer. He has a morality clause in his contract and adultery breaks it. All his relatives, including parents, as well as our church. His actually, I was never big on religion like him. It was like a bomb exploded. He was fired. The congregation turned on him. For cheating, not for being gay. Let's keep that straight. 
I would never allow me kids to be part of a church that discriminated against their father, even if he was not out. His parents wouldn't take him in after I kicked him out, and he was shamed publicly. Gotta love that small town gossip mill. And the cherry on the top? His BF was run out of the town, and he couldn't follow him because he wanted to fight for custody of our kids. Now, almost a year later, I am a free woman. I got to keep the house, my car, and my business. He got 75% of the retirement and investments accounts, but he won't be paying alimony. I got full custody, he got visitations, I also got child support. He had to move six hours away to find a new job, couldn't put the last job he worked at his whole life as a reference, his relationship with his family is rocky, his reputation in town is ruined, so he can't move back any time soon. The love of his life left him for good, and my kids only tolerate him because I did my best to shield them and to tell them that he is still a good father to them. I also made sure to treat him politely, never talked bad about him, and had a lengthy talk about how their father being gay is okay, it's who he is, and that it was not his fault, that the only wrong thing he did was hiding it from me. So I guess the results of his cheating was years of guilt, followed by a ruined life.